Hi everyone! First video on the channel is just explaining how distance learning will be working in year six. I know we've had lots of discussions about this in class lots of times, but I thought it'd be handy for you to have it on a video so that you know exactly what to do and you can refer back to it when you need to. Okay, so. What will it be? We've sent homework packs and project books home. Inside the homework pack is roughly a week's worth of work for English and maths. And as we've said in the letter that is also on the pack, we are encouraging you not to complete this all straight away. I mean, it'd be great if you did, but we're encouraging you not to, because what we will do is we will use this work and we will set different tasks on different days. We've also sent project books home and we'll be sending pens home as well. These are to be used to complete the work in, so that when the children return, they can bring it back with them. We will be updating our Year 6 VLE, which is our virtual learning environment website each day, with tasks to complete. This will be for English and Maths. The foundation subjects will be covered by an activity grid, which has been stuck into the project books. So we will say, for your foundation subjects today, please choose an activity and complete it. On most days, a video which will teach a key maths concept will be posted on YouTube on this channel with related work. That will be produced by Mrs. Wilson and myself and I will narrate it and teach it for you. What websites do I need? Now we will reference a lot of different websites and the children use a lot of different websites. Everything you need, all of the links are on our Year 6 VLE. The website is on the screen for you. We will be updating our Twitter feed every day which if you have Twitter, the handle is at Giles Year 6. If you don't have Twitter, we have embedded it into the website. So if you go onto the Giles Junior School Year 6 website and you go on the blog page, that will also update when I update Twitter. What if you have questions? Of course, during this time, there will be lots of questions, potentially about the work, potentially about arrangements. If you have anything that you would like to ask, please feel free to do so. We will be working during normal school hours and we will be available to answer as many questions as we possibly can. The best way to do that is via email. We have given all of the children our email addresses. We will reply as soon as possible. If not, you can still contact the school office or go via Twitter or you can directly message us through the website. But as I say, email is the most reliable way of getting hold of us. A quick plea, we really do appreciate that times are uncertain at the moment. Believe me, it's uncertain for everyone. Um, and we know that working at home can be a challenge. We know how much of a battle homework can be. However, we would really encourage you to encourage your children to carry on working as hard as they can. We want them to be as prepared as possible for their future learning, particularly moving into secondary school. We know that there could be a possibility of children falling behind where they're not receiving direct teaching and we are trying the best we can with distance learning to prevent this so anything you can do to help us out would be greatly appreciated and finally we would like to say thank you from everyone in year six for how understanding you've all been and adjusting to what is a massive change for all of us if you have anything you would like to ask please feel free to get in contact for now though goodbye stay healthy and see you all soon. Thank you very much.